one way or another, loving our neighbor as ourselves is in so many of our faith traditions. Those principles of loving thy neighbor and open the, you know, the door of your house to a stranger. Truly, it's just how can I practice my faith in community? Well, for me, it means like a family, like back home. The community is like a family. You help each other out. You know when someone needs food, you go over there, you bring them food, you help them with diapers, babysitting, whatever. You know, it's just, it's a big, big community, but we all know each other still, you know. Being a good neighbor looks like seeing what our neighbors are going through, recognizing that, and being really concrete and specific in how we respond and not abstract or vague, but looking directly at what the need is and moving toward it. Some of the biggest challenges that I have been able to bear witness to have been some of the causes and consequences of poverty, specifically around housing and access to food resources. We're trying to solve um, this crisis of housing and instability and opportunity for the people that we serve. This is not just an effort of interfaith staff. This is Houses of Worship. This is the Board of Directors. This is our you know, key players you know, from the state level to the county level to the city level. All of us trying to come up with programs that are um, effective. Tenemos una, una relación bonita, comprensivos con los que nos rodean, ¿sí? comunicativo hacia los, a las personas que colaboran en las iglesias, tratando de tener amistades, que, que es lo que siempre hemos querido tener, amistades, ya que aquí familia no tenemos. Y al momento de tener amistades, Hay una compatibilidad en la amistad. Nos brindan mucho amor, nos brindan mucha ayuda y sobre todo nos protegen en lo que más puede. Agradecido sobre todo. For me, it is truly a gift to work with each of these families and there are still things I have to learn, and the guests that stay with us at Interfaith Action teach me so much about humanity, about faith, about hope. For us, is that is listening, but really listening. Uh, not only to hear what we want to hear or what it will fit our current model, but tap into our courage and say, this is what the specific community needs and how are we going to step up to meet those needs in a way that it's relevant for community. The work of interfaith begins in those spaces between people having these conversations about our community, about what they're bearing witness to, about what they're seeing, about what they're trying to address together. We listen when we're in a space together, when we are in the flesh together, uh, and that is the birthplace of the best things about interfaith action and that is where the best things of interfaith action grow and it's where they are sustained for the long haul.